Bethel family. Today we are going to commemorate Holy Saturday. Uh, as uh, many of you joined us at our Good Friday service, uh, we um, observed uh, the day that Christ died and what that meant for us in order to take away our sins. But uh, there's a day here before Easter Sunday that we don't really pause to think about. We're usually so quick to jump to the resurrection that uh, we, don't, we don't think about this um, period of silence after the crucifixion that the disciples had to endure before they saw the glories of the resurrection that were coming. In uh, John chapter 20, uh, we read in uh, verse 19 that the disciples were hiding in a room uh, in fear of the Jews. Uh, because their savior that they've uh, given up everything for and given up their fishing vocations that went to follow him. Um, they saw their uh, life hang before their eyes uh, and died. And uh, they thought that their hope was buried because they did not understand the predictions of Jesus' death and the promise that he was going to rise. Uh, those things were not spiritually discernible to them until after those things happened. Uh, but there's this period of silence that the disciples are sitting with. Uh, probably lots of thoughts of confusion and uh, depression and despair and hopelessness as they saw uh, their Savior die and their Savior is gone. Uh, and they thought, we believed the things that he told us, but now he's gone. We don't have a leader anymore. Uh, is this another failed Messiah? We just gave up our whole lives and our entire um, vocations for this guy. And what do we do now? If we identify ourselves to uh, the Jewish authorities, uh, they might make an example of us as they did of uh, the guy that we gave up everything for. But we remember that it wasn't over. The story was not over, even though they sat in the period of silence and agony and despair, their life that hanged before their eyes would come again. But this was probably a day of immense confusion and immense hopelessness for the disciples. And that Jesus, it, even though his body was laying in the grave, it was not the end of the story. And as we sit with that devotional of uh, knowing what is uh, happened to our Lord and that it's not the end of the story. We want to invite you to become of our story, a part of Bethel's story as we celebrate together. And we, we observed on Friday, were you there when they crucified my Lord? But you'll be able to join us as we sing and we proclaim, were you there the day that he rose? So we would like to invite you and your families and your loved ones and your friends, if you don't have a church home or if uh, you have families that are visiting in town and they're uh, missing uh, the gathering that they're committed to, we invite you to come join us and worship with us on Easter Sunday as we celebrate the day that our hope rose up again from the dead. Oh!